Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, hi, my name is Vano. So today I have another KKW review for you. This time I'm gonna be doing her lipsticks and lip liners. I know, I know, I've already done four other KKW reviews, but I promise this is it for a while, so hang in there. So a few weeks ago, Kim announced that she was gonna be doing a pop-up shop here in Los Angeles to promote her products and everything that she's been working on thus far, and I went last week to kind of test everything out and just see for myself what it was about. The way that she had set up the products and how everything was laid out, it was pretty much just like a whole selfie store, which was, I mean, definitely on brand for Kim. So if you're into that stuff, if you want to test out her products, make a trip down there if you have some time and have some fun. When I was there, I purchased three out of the eight lipstick shades as well as all of the lip liners. I'm not really into like the peachy, warm tone kind of nude lipsticks and liners. I'm much more of a cool tone or just like a neutral tone kind of guy when it comes to those things. So that's why I decided not to get all those. I apologize in advance if you were thinking that I was gonna do all eight lipstick reviews. These are the three that I'm most likely gonna be wearing, but you know what, we're still gonna have some fun today, so I definitely hope you stick around. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate everyone who comes on here and watches these videos. And without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, well, before we get started, do you like the long hair today? I haven't had long hair in a while, so I was like, you know what? Why not, let's go with it. So once you've made your purchases, everything comes in this wonderful KKW Beauty bag. Um, and you can see, ooh, you can see right here, it says KKW Beauty embossed on it, just like the other fragrances were. Um, and inside, everything is wrapped up really nicely. Oh, also, while you're waiting in line, yes, there is a line to get in, um, but it's more or less like crowd controls because they don't want everyone to just be hanging out in there. So they let a few people in at a time just so you have more room to experience everything. So keep that in mind as well if you go. While I was waiting in line, they did give me this paper and it has everything listed that they are selling in store. They didn't have Crystal Gardenia Oud there, but other than that, the entire KKW Beauty line was available for sale. I also got this little pamphlet for Crystal Gardenia, but I mean, we've already seen that review. So like I said, I purchased the three lip liners and then I also purchased three of the eight lipsticks and it comes in this nude tissue paper. So here are the lipsticks, here are the lip liners. And the three lipsticks that I purchased were number three, four, and eight. So here's what the component looks like out of the box. And this is the amount of product that you get. It's a pretty decent amount of product. I can see what people are saying now. It does feel pretty kind of like, I mean, for lack of a better word, cheap. But hey, if the product works, the product works. I know that she did a frosted look with the KKW Mario collection, so I think that would have been cool to have kind of transferred that over to the rest of the line, but again, it's no big deal to me. And then here are the three liners. You've got Nude 1, Nude 2, and Nude 3. So we'll go through all of these. So I'm going to first start by applying Nude 1 lip liner and then going over it with the number 3 lipstick. All right, here's what nude number one looks like by itself on my lips, and now I'm gonna go ahead and apply lipstick number three. All right, here's what nude one liner looks like with lipstick three on top of it. These go on super, super creamy. My lips feel hydrated. I love this. I love this color. I love all of this. Let's move on to the next one. So for lipstick four, since it's the middle way between all of the lipsticks, I'm going to use both Nude Liner 1 and Nude Liner 2 separately to see how it differs. I've already reapplied Nude 1 to my lips, so let's see how it looks. So here's what number four looks like on my lips with lip liner Nude 1. It's super creamy, it's super easy to apply. I feel hydrated on my lips. This is definitely more my color. All right, I'm gonna take this off, apply lip liner number two, and then we will see how that works with number four again. These lip liners are so easy to use. Like I feel like I barely have to touch my lips to do it. Let's go ahead and apply number four lipstick on top of this and see how it looks. All right, well here is nude liner number two with lipstick number four. I'm loving it. I, I don't know what else to say other than I am loving it. They're all creamy. They're all super easy to apply. 
Everything feels hydrated still. This, damn. And this one goes really well with this look, right? Let me know in the comment section below what you think. Now onto the last two. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with nude number three and apply lipstick number eight. Damn, my lips. I can definitely see now why so many other YouTubers are like, wow, when they get to the end of a lipstick review because, yep. Here's number eight lipstick with nude liner number three. This is giving me mad 90s vibes right now. I'm so happy with the shades I picked out. You know what, I'll also post a picture of myself here as well so you can see me in store testing it. My final thoughts on this product, you guys, I really recommend this to anyone who's into nude lipsticks. These are amazing. They are creamy, they are soft to the touch, they're easy to apply, they're easy to take off. I feel moisturized on my lips. I mean, this is a really amazing product. Kim, you killed it again. Like, ah. Uh, this is my fifth review on something that is KKW, and again, I am super impressed by this. Anyone who is in the LA area or whoever wants to come and make a trip out here, I say go and check out the products. And since you can't buy any of these in store, this is a great opportunity to test everything out, see what you like, and go from there. I'm loving these products. I think I would even consider myself a brand loyal customer at this point. So you know what, Kim, keep up the good work. I'm so happy to add these into my makeup collection and use these on photo shoots and music videos and other tutorials even though you probably are all sick and tired of me doing KKW at this point, so maybe I'll hold off on tutorial usage with them for a while. But just in other things that I'm gonna be doing creatively, I'm really excited to incorporate them into the collection. As always, thank you so much for watching this video and coming on this journey with me through music, art, and fashion. I look forward to putting out more content for you guys along with music videos and all the other fun stuff that's gonna be happening this year. So again, if you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you guys on my next video. All right. Bye.